Hey guys, Glenn here. Today we're unboxing the MK3S Plus by Prusa. I'm going to unbox it for you. I'm going to show you the quality of what they're shipping with nowadays. It used to be very rudimentary. It, the way they used to do it was not good. They have perfected it amazingly. And you're going to see everything that it comes with, exactly how it's packaged. And I'm going to set it up for you and go through the setup process. In case you have any issues, you can see how the process goes. Um, and then you can decide if you want a Prusa, which, yes, I do recommend them. All right, guys, I'm going to unbox one of these. I've never done an unboxing, but I have plenty of Prusas, so I can speak for them. Uh, They're amazing printers. I previously opened it, so it's easier for me one-handed. All right, we got gummy bears, of course. I have so many gummy bears, I can't even eat them all. So many printers. We got the power cable. We got the paperwork. This is, um, you know, gonna have a 3D printing handbook with it. You got some stickers. And a free online course for beginners if you guys really don't know much about 3D printing. And here is um, a sheet saying that everything's okay. They package these so much better than they used to. Um, they, they used to be uh, really rough. Okay, so don't forget, um, you're, you're gonna have this box for all your tools and stuff. Put that over there. And then you're also gonna have usually a free uh, filament. Um, I always get gray, let's see what I got this time. Yeah, gray, or silver, rather. Uh, one time I got blue, which was kind of weird. But, and then this is very important, if you order a, um, if you order a, a different or extra build plate, uh, you don't wanna forget it here. It is in here. I'll show you what, the build plate looks like. I always order a textured build plate. Um, and then if you watch one of my videos of how I condition it to be used with PLA um, and even PETG, um, you know, there is a video about that, but I only use textured plates. I don't use the plate that comes with it. It's, it doesn't work for me as well because I have to get a lot of prints out fast. Oh, she's a beauty. Bam. Now I'm gonna clean up this spot for my next printer. Uh, I'll be right back. All right, let's see if I could do this one-handed. I've only done a million of them so far, so. Let's pull it out. They make it so easy pre-assembled, I love it. I really love it. All right, here she is. You just pull this off here um, very easily. Okay, boom. Now it always comes with this written on here. You're gonna remove that. I usually do all the calibrations uh, on this build plate before I switch to the other build plate just to make sure. All right, all this stuff off. Put that right there. All right, we're gonna go through the settings here. English. Hi, I'm your Prusa. I'll guide you through a short setup process, blah, 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 blah. You can read it if you want, but remove the shipping helpers, which I already did. Now remove the test uh, print from the sheet. I already did that. That was this thing right there. Okay, it's nice and clean. You can see the sheet. It's okay. I will run Z calibration now. Okay, is the steel sheet on the bed? Yes. These printers are simply amazing. They really are. Hopefully I have no issues with this. Once in a while I have something that comes wonky from them recently, but um, 
once you get good at it, once you once you find one problem, you figure it out. It's it's pretty easy. These these printers are indestructible. Please clean the nozzle. I never have to do that, but just check it. You know, you want to make sure that it's going to be clean nozzle. All right. Now it's going to. Measuring uh, reference height of the calibration point, one out of nine. It's going to calibrate, and hopefully this shipped well and it wasn't, you know, kicked around like, like a football or something. All right, it's going to heat for PLA, and. I always take these things off, which this is the hardest thing about setting up the printer. Oh man, this is the easiest I've ever had it. Wow. Comes right off. Usually it's, you gotta pick at it forever and you gotta be careful not to damage the screen because it's, it's usually, there's no like little tab on it, which is kind of a pain in the butt, but this one actually came good. All right, you wanna make sure when it heats up to 215, Degrees, you grab this out of there because it's just going to eject it. It doesn't really warn you. Um, so I need to insert new filament. So let's get the filament ready. So in this box is where you're going to find um, a lot of different stuff, extra parts. Let's just throw it over here. Um, you're going to have alcohol wipe, which you'll need if you don't have any alcohol. If it's your first printer or something, um, make sure that you get alcohol because you're going to need it. Uh, glue stick, which you'll never use unless, you know, you're trying to do funky things that you really shouldn't be doing. And then, um, this cable is to update the printer firmware. Um, and it's got lube in there. It's got some tools, which you're going to use this one a lot. Just to clean up prints and stuff is what I do. And then this, uh, which... I'm so glad they came up with this invention here. Um, I'll show you how it goes on. This is gonna go on here like this, okay? And you're just gonna snap it on right in the middle. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect, but as close to the middle as possible. Then you take these things and tighten them up. And boom, filament spool holder. All right, I got my cheapo J.O. Black filament, PLA. All right, you're gonna feed it right in here. Okay. And you're gonna press that knob. It'll take it. And then it's gonna start coming out. change to black since it's black filament I have in there now correct color yes all is done happy printing all right stick your card in and you're ready to print thank you guys so much for watching watch this video next if you want to make money with your 3d printer